Dodge says she's 36 degrees outside. It's a beautiful October day. A little chilly. Gunner's not happy about this weather at all. But anyway, let's go review a 28 gauge, shall we? It's perfect weather for a gun review. Okay, so it's nasty. It's yucky. It's rainy. It's cold outside. So we're going to do this review inside. All right, so we're going to do a good review of this shotgun, and we're not going to make it so lengthy because I'm not sponsored by Ivor Johnson, but I do like doing gun reviews. So come with me. And came with a free sticker. Ivor Johnson Arms out of Rockledge, Florida. How about it? But just take a look at this thing, man. You can pick these up for under 500 bucks. It's a decent over and under 28 gauge. That did not focus. 28 gauge. These are the 28 inch barrels. We're in my shop on my workbench right now, in case you can't tell. I don't have a fancy studio for shooting videos. And I would have liked to have done this on TikTok, but TikTok's become so soft and you can't do anything with firearms. One thing I like about this one is it's got this, uh, this, this, the, 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 yeah, the thing that you carry on your shoulder, that thing. Yeah. The sling. It's got sling mounts already on it. But I wanted a decent shotgun because we're going pheasant hunting in January. So I picked this up because I wanted something lightweight, but I wanted a quality firearm where you're not going to look like a, a hillbilly when you're around you know, your buddies that all got more money than you. So, and this is what I found. I actually went in there to buy a Beretta A400 and he talked me into buying this, this buddy of mine that owns the gun shop. And it is a really nice gun. I haven't shot it much. I shot it twice. I, I fired one just to make sure that the safety worked and the trigger worked and everything was operational. Uh, you can break these things down just like every other over and under shotgun. And I've always been kind of an over and under snob, you know, not a snob, but like even... When I was a little kid reading the Missouri Conservationist and, you know, Field and Stream, it seemed like all the upland guys shot over and under, and they just looked super cool. This one has got a pretty little quail on it. But anyway. So, of course, blued barrels, obviously. And I don't know, that's not real, that's more of a matte finish. The whole gun's more of a matte finish. It's got some really pretty work on it. Gold trigger. Come on. A little bit schmooge on it right there. So even though it's nasty and cold and raining outside, let's just get us a shirt pocket full of some of these seven and a half shot 28 gauges and see if this thing will go bang, huh? But first, we gotta put our sticker on the fridge so it'll match the others. Right on the shop fridge. Ka chow. Goes in with the collection. We got Ruger, we got Magpul, we got Maverick by Mossberg. We've got it all, man. Do not get in a fist fight with your PTO shaft. Won't end well. So for those of you guys that don't know, I had a YouTube channel for a long time and we did a lot of videos and it was fun and I just kind of got out of it for a long time and I really don't know why I quit. Um, I deleted everything because, you know, I got to going back and look and I was like, wow, that was dumb. And then I got to seeing some of the other stuff that guys post on YouTube and I felt a lot better about myself. Yeah. So let's go shoot this thing, huh? Before I forget, those are shotgun shots that were in my shirt pocket that were going to fall out if I didn't grab them. So um, go follow me on TikTok. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this came from TikTok because I can't do stuff like this on TikTok, but this is the stuff I like doing. So that's why we're doing it here. This thing came with an assortment of chokes. I went with a full on the top and a closed on the bottom. Closed. <laughs> and open on the bottom. That way, okay, so these guys don't know what chokes are. A choke is something you put in the end of a shotgun barrel and that restricts how open the barrel is. So it keeps your load tighter for longer distances. So yeah, that's it. So anyway, you can change those for different effects on your shot. And this came with an assortment of them and the little thing to change them out. Yeah! 
We're gonna have to find something to shoot because I am not setting up a clay pigeon thrower in the rain. So we're just gonna step over here on the pistol range and blow up some old cans or something, you know? It's gonna be pretty anticlimactic. We're not doing anything until I plug my ears. You gotta get some earplugs. I think I'm using them right. All right, we got our ears plugged. We're freezing our asses off. It's cold and rainy outside. This is not a shooting range. This is my farm, okay? So if you guys want a professional review, go look up somebody else. Now, I haven't shot this gun much, but a big thing for me, especially for bird hunting, is, it's on safety, is does the gun throw up nice and does the sight alignment come up? Because you've, you've shot some cheap shotguns where it throws up, but you're like trying to, trying to get your head down on a barrel or trying to get a bead or the length of pull's too long or too short. And it's just, this thing, it's a bottom barrel first is not overbearing but it is heavy so we got one more in there let's get that other can wow that's got a little bit more recoil than i thought it would for a 28 i've never shot a 28 i really like this thing now i don't have any cardboard to do like a pattern on the chokes but if you guys want to see that then we'll do a video on that but this is just a shooting video we're literally shooting old cans in my scrap pile in my trash pile my burn pile like i said this is not a gun range this is my farm Put a couple more of these old things up on the crate, huh? That's what these things are good for anyway, huh? Someday, when it's nice, we will uh, we'll break out the clay pigeon thrower and hit some skybirds. That day is not today. Another thing I noticed uh, that I'm going to add, this thing does not automatically eject the shells out like some of the over-unders do. So, let's slap a couple more in here. And these are just two and three quarter inch. This thing is chambered for three inches if a guy wanted to do that, but why would you want to do that? If you're going to shoot a two, or if you're going to shoot a three inch 28 gauge, just shoot a 20 gauge. Like seriously, dude. Let's get a couple more, huh? Oh, good shit. Right picture lines up perfect. Ah, oh, let's get him again. Got him. I like it. Still ain't no semi-automatic. Ain't no Browning A5 or Versamax. I think we're done for the day. Ow! Anyway, still an affordable shotgun, under 500 bucks, under seven pounds. I dig it. And it's pretty. Pretty guns is where it's at. Only accurate guns are interesting. Or how did that go? I can't remember. Only accurate rifles are interesting. That doesn't apply here, but you get my point. Now, just to recap this whole thing, I got water over my camera lens. Okay, so just to recap, uh, we're gonna clean this thing up. We got a bandana to get the the wet spots off of it because the bandana will not leave swirls in the metal. That's Chrome Polisher 101. Microfibers and bandanas, that's what you wanna use for cleaning your stuff. Yeah. Black Rifle Coffee Company. Espresso 300. Ah! It's good. Okay, so, time to rate it. Now, I, this gun is super nice, but it does not have that OMG, bro, get over here and check this thing out feel. You know that gun that you see at the gun show or at the pawn shop or at the gun shop, and it's just like, dude, check this thing out. This doesn't have that. But if you're, this is the one you're like, oh, yeah, that's nice. That's quality. That's nice. And it is. So we're going to have to go with a 7. Because the biggest thing for me, I can deal with an ugly gun. I can deal with an ugly gun. As long as it's comfortable. And, yeah, it sounds stupid to call a gun comfortable. But if you know, you know. And, like, you'll throw it up. And the length of pull on this is about right. For me. I'm a big guy. But the length of pull feels good. The triggers feel good. Triggers. Trigger. Feels good. The gun feels good. It looks good. It's well balanced. That's another big thing. Like, you'll pick up cheap shotguns, and they're not balanced at all. They suck. They suck to carry. They suck to hunt with. They just they freaking suck. A TriStar over and under, I cannot stand, and we will do a review over one of them. I promise. But just my opinion, I'm not a professional gun reviewer. I'm not a professional gun guy. I'm an everyday... Dude, just a little high strung. 
the sling mounts. The sling mounts is probably the reason it got a 7 out of 10 over a 6 out of 10. I won't have anything if it doesn't have a sling on it. Not having a sling is horrible. We're going to wipe all the raindrops off of it and give her a liberal coating of PB Blaster and then throw her back in the safe. Come on. So that's about all I got today. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And if there's anything I got wrong, because I'm sure somebody's going to be like, no, I've got one of those. You're wrong. I'm right. I love it. You're a mora. And you're probably right. But uh, that's about it. Two and three quarter inch to three inch. And why, I don't know why anybody would want to shoot a three inch 28 gauge. If you're going to do that, just shoot a 20 gauge or a 12. I wanted this thing because it was lightweight. I think it was like 7.4 pounds, just under seven and a half pounds. And I knew your Benelli Super Duper Vinci semi-automatic is 6.14 pounds, fully loaded with three and a half inch number 48 steel shot duck loads. I know. Nobody that will tell you you're an idiot on shotguns faster than duck hunters. Duck hunters, I love you all and I don't have anything against that. But you can take your freaking Oakley sunglasses, your flat bill and your Sitka gear and go somewhere else your stupid opinion on shotguns i can form my own very much thank you so that's what we're doing here but uh seven out of ten i'll be keeping this one a lot of these i buy and i turn around and take them back to a buddy of mine that owns the gun store and i'll sell them to him or trade them in you know that is a pretty shotgun i like it till next time let me know what you guys want to want to do next. So, you know, everybody on TikTok, if you're here from TikTok, you guys know me. Because um, everybody on TikTok was like, dude, what's your YouTube channel? Which is a hard question for me to answer. Because I had a YouTube channel, deleted it, had another one, deleted it. And it was all farming, hunting, guns, bows, recurves, um, semis. Hate trucks. That's all I got. We're going to have to work on our lighting a little bit here in the studio, which is my garage. So, anyway, y'all let me know. Join the NRA to protect our rights. And just remember, boys, the feds fired first. <laughs>